Hello Aquarius, this is going to be a reading for October 6th to October 12th, 2020. Thank you to all my current subscribers, all the views. I appreciate it so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like it, it really helps the channels you like on YouTube to subscribe to them and give thumbs up to the videos you like because that's how we get out there. So I appreciate it. I upload two videos every day at... 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so if that helps you decide if you want your phone to beep every time I upload a video, then do hit the bell icon when you subscribe, and if you don't want your phone to beep, then don't hit the bell icon. So I'm doing a different layout. I'm doing a one side you, one side your partner, and a past, present, future. If you don't have a partner, you can use all the cards for yourself or pick one side you. It's up to you. So hopefully this helps just trying to mix it up a little. And the masculine feminine can be vice versa. So the king and queen and the knight and the princesses can be vice versa. Masculine feminine energy. And time is fluid. And there's no way this can connect with every single Aquarius because this is not a personal reading. It's just a general reading for those of you who have the same pretty close placement. is who it will connect to. It won't even connect to every single Aquarius. There's no way. So I'm first going to pull the Earth Wisdom Oracle card for you, and these three cards will all be for you. So the first one is for creativity. So this tells me that right now you are in abundance, so you can make things happen. Right now there must be a, how do I explain it, a door opening, so you have the, everything is in your favor to abundance and creativity right now. So, if you have an idea for something, now is the time to start initiating this idea, like actively doing something to bring this into your life. So, practical intuition, this is beautiful because this is a new beginning with the little rabbit. I feel like this is like a crop circle to me where something is, dr is drawing to you like a magnet. Something specific to you is drawing your attention to it. So the full moon is going to be October 1st, and that could be really important, Aquarius, in some of your lives because it's in this card, and it's talking about your practical intuition. So I feel like we are downloaded stronger during the moon phases, um, the full moon. I know I am. I get dreams like, like crazy around the full moons, and sometimes they really affect me. They really do. I get headaches and... Some of them don't affect me. So that's why I suggest everyone who comes to my channel keep a dream journal. So when you wake up at night to use the restroom, get a drink. Write down what's on your brain. Go back to sleep. When you get up in the morning, write down what's on your brain. Read it when you come home from work. You'll be shocked at what you wrote. You'll either trigger the dream or you won't um, remember anything. But a dream journal, a birth chart journal. It's good to screenshot your birth chart so you can go back. I haven't done the challenge for this month yet. I'm aware of that. I'm a little behind. I've been really um, having a hard time with the planets, but they're shifting and I'm doing really good. Today was the first day in a long time. I've been like, oh my gosh, thank gosh. All right, so let me move on for you. Transformation number 16. This is really, really beautiful. I am going to read this one because you're, wow. It's all spiritual, all the readings this last two weeks. I feel like we're, there's just a portal open, if you will, for everybody to get downloaded who's interested in transforming their intuition and their vibration. <clears throat> so 16 says, Mullen brings awareness and light to consciousness and understanding of one's higher purpose. Amethyst aids in transformation. Sometimes a change of habit is enough. Other times only a complete transformation will do. It is time to gain a fuller understanding of your soul's purpose, and that will require transformation, a rearranging of your worldview and practices that bring your actions in line with your ideas. Reach for and embrace your highest vision of yourself. That's why when I saw this, I knew that you're, you're totally transforming. Something about you <clears throat> is raising its vibration. Aquarius, so wow. Let's see what the cards say. So, Chakra Wisdom deck is Three of Swords. Three of Swords is a broken heart. This could be a broken heart because somebody broke your heart. They could have put a job before you, a pet, a family member. It doesn't always mean a person. 
So two of coins. Two of coins is a couple things. This means compromise and flexibility. It could also mean somebody was juggling. Two people. So two of cups. So far this is coming out so love reading. Oh my goodness. So obviously this is why you're shifting your vibration. So two of cups is love. This is somebody who adores somebody who looks at them and they see nobody beautiful more so than this person. Very strong influence of love there. Wow, is all I can say, Aquarius. So let me go over to this side now. So this person has Eight of Coins. So Eight of Coins is this person planning, organizing. What they're planning and organizing, I'm not really sure, but they're planning organizing something. I feel like it has to do with their identity, if that makes sense. So Nine of Swords is this person, ha person having regrets. So they have regrets about something. So maybe something they planned did not go correctly and they regret it. Queen of Wands is somebody who has a lot of intuition, a lot of opportunities. I feel like this person seems lucky, but they're having to struggle through their life. They just, they're disciplined. And she has the black cat bass down there, it looks like. It's hard to tell. But it does look like him. Let me see. It is a black cat bast. And he has a blue bow on it. It's weird sometimes the stuff that points out. So yeah, I've never noticed before. He was down there. He's really dark. But he's got a beautiful blue bow on. If that means anything to any of you. Beautiful. Alright, so let me keep going. So now I'm going to pull for this side over here. So this is a princess of wands. This is new beginnings. This is feeling protected and f seeing an opportunity to love again, is what I see for this person over here. So the Wheel of Fortune, this is beautiful. This says that this person over here has everything they need to change their life. Look at the thunderbolts just going right on her head. It's like you have everything you need. You have the idea, you have the discipline. So... Let's see what comes out next. So Ten of Cups, happiness. So I do feel like somebody wants to come in Aquarius, possibly for a second chance. Somebody who messed up and broke somebody's heart wants to, they love this person. And they're sad that they broke the person's heart, is what I'm seeing. So now I'll go back over here to this side. So this is Ten of Coins. This is inheritance, birthright, something somebody has due to who they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so the next one is Ace of Wands. This is beautiful. This is an opportunity coming towards this person. So this person planned. They had some kind of inheritance birthright. They have a grief. And now they have an opportunity coming towards them for abundance, it looks like. So Knight of Wands. So we have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So this tells me there's an age difference between these two. I feel like this person is kind of immature. The Knight of Wands is usually the player card. And the Queen of Wands is not a player. But this is really emotional, really immature. I feel like I see arrogance in there. So Knight of Cups, I'm putting over here with the Princess of Wands. Somebody's coming in on this side to offer an apology. And then you have Justice, which is Libra. Something is going to balance out Aquarius. So this person who has, who is interested in compromising and wants to start over and they think they have everything in them to start over and make it work. Five of Cups. They really, really are missing you or if this is you, you're missing them. Really, really missing them. So now let me pull over here. And we have Five of Wands. So this is gossip over here. People talking, jealousy. The Magician. So over here, new opportunities. Somebody has everything they need. So you have the... If this is you over here, you decide which side is you. If you're going to pick both sides or what side might be your partner. Um... 
And welcome cross watchers. Cross watchers are people who come watch other people's videos to try and figure out what's going on. So this talks about somebody's coming in and you both have the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician in the same line to me and balance as somebody's going to come in and you both seem like you're going to change in almost the exact way except this person is a little more balanced and this person had to grieve a little more so then you have five of coins so this says somebody's ghosting somebody the player it looks like the player's coming in and he's going to ghost somebody whether it's because the queen of wands won't let him in i'm not too sure so let me go to the Tarot Illuminati now and pull these, see if we can clarify. And I shuffle the decks before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more shuffle and cut them after I turn it on. So the Tarot Illuminati, um, Eric Dunn is the one who created this deck and he, won't, he says it's no way affiliated with the Illuminati, it is meaning the Latin word for enlightened. So Ace of Cups, my goodness gracious Aquarius, this is love. These right here, I mean this is powerful, this is a lifetime of love, abundance, peace, happiness, so that's what's coming in right there. And then this one is the devil. So this is Capricorn. This could be some sort of addiction, um, narcissism coming out, which is weird because it says balance over here. So if somebody did have an addiction, I see they could be balancing it out and figuring it out for this love, Aquarius. So then you have the emperor. So this is like a CEO, a business person, a business-minded person. Again, this could have to do with arrogance, narcissism. We have two cards that could relate to that. Um, this person sees happiness with you. They regret it, unless this is you. Some person who's an emperor sees regret and true love. So over here on this side, we have King of Swords. So somebody has their guard up over here. I feel like it has to do with the gossip and people interfering. So Nine of Cups is somebody feeling confident and powerful being single. The Moon. The Moon is Pisces placement, if that means anything to any of you. And this is balance to me. This is yin and yang. When things balance out, the Moon brings things that are hidden into the light. That's why dreams are so important. They try and guide us during the moon cycle and tell you, hey, this is what you need to look out for. You don't know what's going on, so during the moon they give us highlights, I feel. And we either pay attention or we don't. Alright, so now I'm going to pull another one of the Tarot Illuminati for each side here. So the next one is King of Cups. This is traditionally somebody offering love, but this also is my addiction codependent king and not for every reader but for me it is so I am seeing the addiction over here on this side or the narcissism the codependency something of that sort so three of pentacles this is growth in the coins so this can grow this can work and then king of wands so King of Wands is the king who, action king, who does everything. So we have the Queen of Wands over here, and he's on the same row. So we there's a pair. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands are like a power couple. So let me pull further over on the other side, King of Pentacles. So you have King of Swords and King of Pentacles. So over here, I feel like somebody's blocked, and somebody is like a show-off over here. They want to look grand. They want to look... Spectacular is what I'm getting. And then Two of Pentacles comes out, and this would be balancing, compromising. It could also be juggling, but I feel like it's compromising, being flexible, because we have the single card here. Ace of Wands, beautiful. And you have Ace of Wands twice on the side, or this person does. So this is an opportunity for this person to change their life, to grow to have some kind of wish fulfillment, I feel. Um, the moon. The moon is going to bring about some, so we have the Queen of Wands, 
the King of Wands over here, then we have the Knight of Wands, so in and out energy, somebody getting ghosted, which I feel like is a player, something coming to light from the moon, and then Ace of Wands, somebody wanting to secure um, a relationship, or moving on to opportunity, a job, something to that. So you both have a lot of similar, like the Wheel of Fortune over here, the Magician over here, Balance over here, Justice, the Moon over here, Balance, Justice. A lot of similarity. So let's see, the past of this relationship was death. I am learning the endings are merely beginnings. So when one door closes, another door opens. So I don't know if this was a quick relationship due to some one of you ending a relationship or both of you and you jumped fast into each other, something of that sort. So the present situation of this relationship oh, is blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So that's how we align our soul is to accept what we bring into this world and create. So when we blame other people, we just go off balance. We can't balance ourselves if we blame others for what we're not good at or what we're learning. So try to be aware of that. If somebody's blaming you, they're just making themselves off balance. And I know we all see things differently. We all have different viewpoints and opinions of how we experience life. But blame is a lot more heavier. Like somebody is... It's just not good. And it's a solar plexus chakra and a throat chakra. So somebody is talking to somebody and they're really trying to come out of their... their soul, their solar plexus to explain something I feel. So then you have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. The center is a lotus flower to me. Purple is healing. So you're going through different levels of healing, Aquarius, or whoever this, or this is the future of the relationship. I feel like somebody has to accept that they either have an addiction, or they have a dark side, or they're narcissistic. And if they accept that and agree to work on it and try and give a give and take balance in a relationship without blaming and, and ending the relationship, I feel like this could work out. It has to be accepted by both parties. That's what I'm seeing. So now I'm going to pull Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck for you. And you have Blend into the Environment 36. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So it talks about how octopuses are brilliant, really, really smart. I'm seeing something to do with the fall in there, something to do with the end of October. I'm possibly seeing... Gosh, I feel like pregnancy, but I don't... This doesn't usually mean pregnancy, but I'm kind of picking that up. So, I just see, a, just blend into the environment to me kind of means be able to go with the flow. Be able to lay low. If there's drama around you, go below the radar. Stay below the drama. Blend into your environment and move yourself out of that situation. Don't blame Kind of accept that you're in there and figure out how to get yourself out of that situation. Blend into the environment. So I don't know if you're around bad situations you don't feel comfortable in lately that are making you uncomfortable. So the next one for you is help appears in various ways. This would be eight. That one was nine if you add the numbers. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get a drift to forget to look to the support systems that are with you continually. This is the parrotfish. The parrotfish are able to break the coral down into sand. That's how strong their teeth are. And no other fish can do that. So you have so much strength right now. Like they can break through this coral and make it sand. You have that strength right now. There's somebody around you that can help you find strength. Eight is an affinity number to me if I didn't already say that. So yeah, I feel like you have help around you. So I don't know if people are going to appear as angels to help you in situations um, that you're getting yourself into is what I almost feel like. 
and you know this. And it talks about a drift too. I saw that somewhere. So I don't know if you feel like you're just drifting and you're not going anywhere. So let me pull the Angel and Ancestor cards for you. Fire Guardian, Ignite Your Passion. So this talks about masculine energy. It doesn't have to be. You can vice versa the masculine feminine. This talks about the divine being involved in this. I feel like there's something to do with your passion that is going to bring you closer to somebody. How can I explain this? So something about somebody else is igniting something within you that is bringing you closer to your soul's purpose, closer to your soul's alignment. I know I say that a lot, but it's been coming out a lot lately the last two weeks. So this is everything, something is coming towards you or something's going to, a part of you is just going to ignite, so to speak, and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a part of you that you either haven't dealt with in a long time or somebody, something about you is going to bring out um, intimate fire, if that makes sense. So Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. So I feel like something is changing really, really fast for you. Um, I've seen the acceptance card for some reasons coming out. So when I see the Spirit Fox, I see again the Divine with the feathers here. I see the symbol here, which is the Sun. I see the triangle here. This makes me go back to this one. These two are similar. Blend into the environment. The Spirit Fox can adapt to the winter. The Spirit Fox can adapt to the city, the country, the heat. The Spirit Fox can adapt and blend into the environment. So, gosh, I don't know what is going on, but you are, there's help around you, and you're being guided. You're being guided, but well, you need to do your part and blend into the environment. Stay below the radar. Spirit Fox, use your instincts. I can't stress enough. Use your instincts to do what you need to do because you have a lot of power going on here. I feel like somebody is making you feel like you belong is what I'm feeling and it's the passion is going to ignite you where you two are going to I don't I feel like one or the other is going to calm the other one down I feel like this person has a lot of passion and they're going to get the spirit fox to kind of calm down to where the spirit fox doesn't need to keep running is what I'm feeling if that makes sense Wow, so I don't know what side you or what side your partner, if it's all you, you decide. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot Aquarius. Bless you, Aquarius.